Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru. It is April 26, 2024. I'm here for another crack at connections after I do my Rosalind Shuffle. Look at that. We've got just a silly little part of a word there, just a syllable. <sighs> Sen, sun, ah, oh, they're being tricky with this. So we have taste and we have touch. Well, those are senses. I don't think they're going to make it that easy, but we'll see. Sen, impact, sour, bask, bake, sign, tan, move, sight, elegance, affect or affect, grace, sun, style. Sen, senator, tanator, tan, sun, sign. Also, Basque. A lot of them are one syllable, but I'm looking at one syllables primarily that ha start and end with a, a consonant. And Basque fits that. I'd also like to stick with only three letters, but we only have three with three letters. All right. So, you grace us with your presence. Affect, grace, elegance. I don't know that affect goes well with those. Grace, elegance, style. Elegance, style, taste. We take taste out of here. I think that's what we do. I think that was a false lead. I'm going to do that. I can always put it back in if I decide that this one doesn't work. Grace, elegance, style, and taste. So, that means these don't necessarily go together. I'm going to take that out for now. Just leave one of these. Uh, touch. Effect. Impact. Taste, touch, sen, impact. Sour, bask, bake, sign, tan, move. You affect, you touch, you impact. You move. I think I moved to keep that as a group. So what else goes here that we haven't used yet? We have not used taste. We have not you No, we have used taste. We had to take apart that one because of it. So taste, touch, sen, impact, sour, bask, Bake, sign, tan, move, sight, elegance, affect, grace, or effect, sun, style. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <sighs> These don't go together as any sort of synonymous grouping. I don't see that. So we have to figure out how else they can go together. Uh, sentence. Sen. Oh, I don't like this one. We've got two groups that I don't see how they go together. So... Sight, bake, sour, and bask feel like they go together better than send, hand, sun, and sign. Why would these go together? Bask. You bask in sunlight. Bask et. Senet. Tanet. Sunet. Sour it. Bake it. Sight it. Bask. 
Carol Baskin. Bake and sight and sour and sign and sun and tan and send and a bask. I think it has to do with basket, but I don't see how that would work with anything else. Sour. Sour dough. Sour. Wait. Sight dough. Bake dough. Basket dough. Sign dough. Sun dough. Tan dough. Send dough. Ah, uh, sour. I don't know a lot of these that go with other things. Should I try send, tan, sun, and sign and just see if I can narrow things down? Send, tan, sun, and sign. That means that if by some miracle these actually go together, I won't have figured out why they go together. I'll have to do it by default. That's okay. I'm willing to do that at this point. Let's see what it's going to tell us. Yeah, it didn't even give us a one away that I could see. I tried really hard to catch that. So send hand, sun, and sign go with some of these. Sun, bask, bake, tan. Oh, look at that. I got that now. Those are synonymous. I just, with my fluorescent white skin, just not something I usually think of. Sun, tan, bask. Bake, tan, sun, bask, bake. You're going to sun yourself, tan yourself, bask yourself in the sun, t bake yourself. I, I still don't think those go well together, but it solves this problem. So these all begin with an S. Oh, hello. That's supposed to be backspace. Send sign sour sight. Sensation. S sensation. Sour station sight station. Sen. I don't know, but I'm guessing that's purple. Sen. Sign, sight, sour. What if I take off a letter? That becomes a letter N. So that becomes sin, hour, sigh. We can, we can make words out of these. If we take off the S here, we get the word N, E-N which is the representation of the letter N. If we take off the E here, we get sin. We can't take off the S here and get anything. I don't think ein is a word. If we take off the S here, we get our. If we take off the T here, we get sigh. I, I don't know. I think actually we have to lengthen these, but I don't see how to lengthen them. Short-sighted. Short sourid. <laughs> oh, I'm fairly certain these work because I'm fairly certain all of these work. Oh, I don't know. I'm just going to submit. That's it. I'm done. Numbers. It is. It's these stinking numbers again. Numbers with first letters replaced by S. Ten, nine, four, eight. No, don't do that to me. That is rude. Oh my goodness. I still can't see it when, when the editors do that to me. It's still beyond me to be able to replace this, especially when you've got a, a number like eight, which begins with an E. <sighs> All right. Gonna I'm going to talk that up to a learning process. Now, which one do I think is going to be blue? I think suntan, bask, and bake, because I don't think that those are as easily captured as synonyms. They weren't for me. Probably they were for everybody else. Uh, I'm going to do that anyway, and I think that that works.
catch some rays and it's not blue it's green so then I think it's going to be effect touch impact and move to inspire to emotionally sway and then elegance grace taste and style refined sensibility that's not me <laughs> All right, that is it for me, though. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. Hey, was yours as colorful as mine? And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.